Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 23. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Okay, so in the last clip, I may have told a little bit of a lie. Uh, that was not the last King of the Hill event. This one is, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure it definitely is, because I couldn't see anymore. But um, if we do end up with this not being the final event, uh, oops. <laughs> um, and I think this one, we're going to take the... I wonder what car. Maybe the Mura again. We'll take this Lamborghini again. Because the Mura is a very nice car. Can you move? Your traffic. You're in the way. That was... That was barely even a drift. And that counted as drift points. That's pretty cool. A half a mile as well. Before we get there. Ta-da! Oh, no, 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 no. No, never mind. That did not work. I was trying to handbrake and see if I could, like, slide there, but uh, I genuinely just slid past. Okay, let's have a look. So this is a proper race this time. 10.5 miles for 46,000 credits. Let's do it. I do love this Mura. I can't stop, like, praising it. It's such a nice car. Lamborghini know how to make cars. And I do not like this event. Uh-oh. That is the concept car that I hate going against. That thing is powerful. Hopefully they all have the handicap and that I can catch up. But uh, by the looks of it, probably not. It is no restriction, so... But I would presume they would all be given a little bit of a handicap. And they normally have been, but like that's quite powerful. That would be a very large handicap. Look at that! <laughs> Oh no, it put me off. Okay, the tree saved me. But that was way above the top speed of the car. We were flying. Thanks to that thing. It's a very long straight for uh, King of the Hill though. Not very hill-like. Awesome. I thought the render distance had died and that there was no trees or anything rendering. No, it's just the middle of a desert. Okay, this is very quick, this car. I'm actually surprised by it. What was that? <laughs> I literally pressed that and I saw a car flip through the air and then he was gone. Just meow. Gone. That was insane. I don't even know where that other car is. Oh, he's with the pack, but I don't know if he's overtaken or not. Like, actually making positions. That was a decent drift. I'll take that. We're getting so close to the 1 million points mark. But uh, we won't be getting it today, in today's recording session. 
maybe tomorrow. Ha, <laughs> we're at 69 miles. We uh, missed the 420 moment with the Mura. Oh, getting stuck to the wall there. Look at that though. Okay, yes, that's not very high quality in the background. But still, to be able to render that distance, these mountains, and still make it look like a scenery, to some extent, you gotta give them props. <coughs> Especially on this, quite frankly, not great hardware. Even for its time, this hardware wasn't the best. Like, there was PC games looked so much better than this did. As soon as the 360 came out, though, that was, like, the biggest jump in, like, graphical performance and the PS3 because that was, like, when games looked like people. And then the Xbox One and the PS4 have been a huge letdown, right? The entire life cycle we were expecting to be decent, right? Sony did another PS3. Um, they made a worse PS3 and called it the PS4. And then after that, they did exactly the same what they did with the PS3, where they brought out the best of the games and proved that the console was really good once the console was dead. And now PS4 is coming out with loads of really good games. And the PS5 is coming out. It's not a good sales tactic. At all. You want those games at the start, not towards the end of the life cycle. It's just a weird sales pitch. Doesn't work in my head. Here we go, nearly at the finish. That car must have caught up. There is no way that's any other car. Chrysler Mi 412. And we can now teleport anywhere on the island. And I think that's because we've done this mission, which is awesome that we can now teleport anywhere. Your is being that is a very good reward, actually. Wait, let's test that out. So I can... Okay, there's a location right here that I've never been to. Ha! Huh. It says you can teleport anywhere on the island. What do you mean? Do I have to like teleport on the road next to it then? Ah! So I teleport to the road. Your itinerary is being recalculated. And then I can go to the event. Just like this. Hey, that's awesome. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing road trips. Obviously, like, short distances. Uh, but this is no restrictions. We'll do this race and then this will be the last one. 8.3 miles. We're going to change the vehicle to... The Lamborghini Gallardo for this one. And then that is it for today. Let's go. Great Ocean Road. That is a really cool, like, reward, though, to be able to unlock. And especially towards, like, the later end of the game. We've done quite a lot before we've been able to unlock that. So I feel like it was a perfect position, perfect time to reward us with that. Um, but there is... McLaren F1 in front of us. Come on. We gotta get a slipstream somehow. Or just overtake him like that. I'm so glad those cars didn't crash into anyone, because if they. Ugh, what are you doing? What was that Koenigsegg doing breaking there? I think that was actually the Koenigsegg that did end up going off in the end. Oh, no, not great. Okay. Haha, <laughs> 
The yellow card just uh, completely obliterated himself. Come on. Nice, we got some good corners through there. We are a lot better than the AI cars that actually are at cornering. Um, I feel like that's how they sort of do the handicap in this game, is uh, corners. So they slow them down in the corners if you go like normal, and if you're on easy it slows it down on the straights more as well. And if you're in a worse car than them, it will also slow them down no matter what, regardless. Go, slow down, slow down, no. Oh my gosh, the van went through the barrier. Okay. We also just went past the 69 mile mark on this car as well. I think by the time we finish this, we'll be at a million points. So we will have got it today. Come on, come on, come on. This is very good. Come on. You can do it, little Lamborghini. La Lamborghini. Oh, no, no. Stop it, silly. Nice. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. Perfect. They haven't caught up, which is good. Very good. And we are about to get those final 10,000 points we need to level up to the fifth level, which I think is master, probably. Master challenge is now unlocked. Awesome. Congratulations, you won a Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary. Oh. Okay. And there you go. 1 million points. Master points. We are a master now. That is awesome. That is very Your cool. Is being recalculated. Right, so let's have a look at the map. Because, um, obviously, we still earn points, um, which is decent. Uh, how many events do we have now, then? We've got quite a few now. Um, I can see this one. Oh. Northwest, southeast. Oh, jeez. 54 miles, 40 miles. Are they uh, part of, like, an endurance championship? To Viaggio Grande. 9.7 miles. I think there's one down here as well, if I remember correctly. Okay, so you got 25 miles. Shit. 46 miles north to south. Uh, that is just the one that I checked. What's this one? Ah, oh, this is it. Coastal Dream. 103 miles. Oh dear. Okay, big races are coming out now. And I have a feeling... What's this one? Can we zoom in? Can you let me look? Oh, that's tiny. That's nothing. Come on. But 100 miles plus in a race. That's like nearly an hour. That's going to be a huge video. Right, so it is a new day. Brand new day. Brand new recording session. And it is very hot in the UK today for some unknown reason. It is blisteringly hot. Which is probably like only two degrees hotter than it was yesterday, but us Brits will find a thing to complain about no matter what. Um, so I have got my fan on. You'll probably hear that in the background, but 
kind of have no choice. It's awful, way too hard. Um, but what we are going to do... Oh, watch it. Oh, come on. That's just not fair. Driver has priors for traffic offences. Right, so what we're going to be doing... Uh, is we are making our way to this car dealership here. And we are looking for a very special car. If you look in there, you can see Italian Independence. And there's only one type of Italian car here in this game. Or two types. You've got the Alfa Romeo. And you've also got... You've also got... The Paganis. <laughs> that was the worst timing ever. Uh, so we have a choice of two cars. We have the C12S Roadster or the C12S. Um, this is much quicker action. I did, um, to get here, fast travel to the British or the European Specialist, I think it was. Uh, it would have been European. Um, and there's a McLaren SLR for around about the same price that does uh, 205 miles an hour. So I think this is going to be a good choice. Um, it's just whether the choice of roadster or normal car. They all have exactly the same stats, just one slightly heavier. Urgh, it's tough. We'll go for this one then, because it's much, much cheaper. Um, and I feel like a Zonda. I've, I've never seen a red Zonda. So I think we'll get a red one. Um, in the interior, we can obviously change up stuff here. I quite like the red, actually. Oh, that's quite nice as well. Red with black. We'll go for that. Not enough garage space. Do you want to sell... Oh, you can sell vehicles like this. Okay. Uh, time to pick a car to sell. What can we get rid of? I want to get rid of the AC. Because I'm never going to drive that. So, uh, let's confirm that then. Yes, buy vehicle. We're going to have to buy a house then. Lovely. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Club invite Euro Exotica. That's good. Um, we're going to go get this car upgraded. I don't know if we have any more free upgrades. Ah, uh, look how quick this is. So yeah, we're going to go... Um, can I fast... I think I can fast travel to the Italian dealership. Um, where is it? Display only Italian or... Tuners. Here we go. Corsa Technologia. We're going to go here and take a look. See if we can upgrade for free. If we can't, it's probably going to cost us a lot. Okay, here we go. Pagani. And we can't. 220 for that. But that gets us up a huge amount of power. Ugh. So expensive. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right. So we're going to start heading off to our first race now. Okay, so we're first of all starting off with a club. And this is the Supercar Owners Club. Oh, very nice. 50 points there. Let's take part in the Supercar Owners Club. This is uh, only for A-class vehicles. Um, so when we got that uh, Jaguar, that's how we unlocked it. So uh, we have a very nice choice of cars here. Lamborghini Murcielago, Mercedes-Benz, Celines, Koenigseggs. The one car I am worried about is trying to beat the Koenigsegg. But hopefully we should be okay. So uh, let's get straight into the first race. Start race. I do like the uh, Pagani Zonda. It's a very nice car to drive. Um, and I would probably end up taking it for the long 103 mile race. Um, but right now, we're just going to enjoy beating all these cars in this club. And we are miles ahead of the Merchilago already. Let's have a look at the interior. Ooh, that's very nice to look at. Not what we're looking for, though, because we're looking for speed. Faster cars are always going to win in this game. Oh, okay, okay, not great. 
did have a bit of contact there, but I'm hoping that the Murchiligo gets stuck, and he didn't. Oh! That was crazy. Went sideways there. Onto two wheels. Uh, why is the AI car going that way? That's not ideal. That's not ideal. That's probably a quicker way that he's found. Uh, come on. Holy shit, that's close. Go, 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 go. Okay. Woo. That had me worried why he was going the other way. That had me seriously worried. One minute, four seconds, though, for that. Very nice. We're still getting master points as well. Here we go. So next up is the Mercedes-Benz SLR. So this was the other car that I was uh, contemplating on whether getting. Um, so we're going to see whether it was a good choice picking the Zonda or if we should have picked the SLR. Uh, so this race is going to decide it. If we're miles ahead, then we picked a good choice. If we're only a little bit ahead, could have been a questionable decision. We are going to drive the SLR at some point, probably. I can guarantee you that. We're not going to do this walkthrough without driving that thing, because it is a beautiful car. It's a beauty of a car. I'd love to be able to see, like, a real-life McLaren SLR one day. Because the McLaren-Mercedes partnership that they did for that car was outstanding. Awesome. The fact is, since the um, SLR, Mercedes hasn't made a single like supercar like it. They haven't made a car like it. And it was all thanks to McLaren, actually, why they managed to pull it off. Um, hence why it's called the McLaren Mercedes. But there we go. Across the line, one minute, six seconds. The SLR miles behind, so the uh, Zonda was a good choice for now. That was very good. Proud of my choice. It is so hot in here. Wow. Okay, next up is the Ascari KZ1. Let's give this a try. So I know the Ascari KZ1 is sort of like their super powerful Ascari car. It's a very nice looking car too, but it is powerful as hell. Right, here we go. And we're off. We've got a decent start off the line. Very decent start actually. But it's the Koenigsegg that we're worried about. The rest of the cars are fine. But that Koenigsegg can hit 250 miles an hour, no problem. Our car sh struggles to hit 220 at the moment. Nice. Oh, no, 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 not great. Okay. Luckily, it was just before a junction that crashed, so technically that assisted us with slowing down for the corner. Um, but if there wasn't that crash, we probably would have messed up completely. If that crash was earlier, we would have lost a lot of time. If it was later, we would have gone straight past the corner, guaranteed. That was good. That was good. Those uh, quad exhausts, very... Nicely made in this PS2 version of Test Drive. Look how nice that looks. Also, Stefan Alaki has been beaten. Look at that. 3,000 credits. That's it for the Supercar Championship. For the Supercar Club. That's all they can spare. 
Right, so next up is the Jaguar XJ220. We've already owned one of these. We own one of these. And it is a very nice car. Let's have a look and see. Oh, very nice. It's in purple. That is a very nice colour. But I think I went with a good choice picking uh, the Zonda in red. Well, the Jaguar's messed up immediately. So, uh, they're not going to be a problem for us now. The fact that uh, the gearbox in this car is a little bit shorter than the Jaguar, but longer towards the later gears, really is helping us right now. Get that initial acceleration, but also when it comes to uh, tight corners, we'll probably have a lot more speed throughout the corners because we can accelerate out of the corners much better. But again, we're just going to have to see how it goes. I mean, we're absolutely demolishing this club right now. Gone off road a bit, but we can afford to do that. Here we go. Clubs up in the north seem to be very short. I know the Caterham Club was like nothing. That was a very good run. We're going to get that reward. And next up is Craig. <laughs> um, so we're going to be going against a Celine S7 Twin Turbo. Now, these two cars are the ones that I was worried about. Um, the Celine, maybe not as much, but definitely the uh, Koenigsegg. That's going to be a worry. But I do like the Celine S7. It's a very nice, very, it's a very flat car. And very wide. I mean, look at that. That is very flat and very wide. The Zonda has so much more height compared to it. Off we go. Two miles. And we are quite far ahead of the Celine, actually. So, um, maybe the Koenigsegg may not be such a problem. I really hope that there's, like, a club where the races are all plus 10 miles. Like, at least 10 miles long. That would be decent to see. Oh, but we are going. We are just ahead of that Celine. Oh, no. Oh, bugger. Right, we're going for a second attempt on this race. I can't believe we completely messed that up, though. Big time. I saw the car, saw that we were going towards it, and I just froze. Didn't even attempt to move out of the way until it was too late. You've got to be joking me. Okay, the Celine got caught up by those cars as well, so it wasn't just me. We now to be, need to be on top of our game. Keeping ahead of this car whilst also not crashing into others. This is where we're getting a huge amount of distance. I'm going to rely on the hard shoulder this time. Okay. A little bit wobbly through there. Keeping it steady through the corner. Perfect. We done it. That is the Supercar cl Owners Club. Nearly done. We are now Vice President of this club. And we're about to prove that we can be the president. By beating a Koenigsegg CC8S. Let's just get straight into it. This is Logistic. We're going to have to beat Logistic. Right. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're off. That car is quick. 
Oh, traffic cars having collisions. That isn't something I've seen in this game yet. Right, we are ahead. Now that we've said that though, we're gonna go behind probably, guaranteed. An exec is stuck behind us. It's staying behind, it's staying in its place for now. Oh, there's a car there. I saw the car and panicked. Oh, there's another car there, there's another car there. There's loads of cars on this side, please don't be any oncoming. Okay, cool. Oh, no, no, no. Keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it calm. There's going to be a tight corner soon. Slow down, slow down. Awesome. Look at that. And we did it. Ta-da. Next vehicle upgrade is free. Could have done with that a little bit sooner. Not going to lie. But uh, we have beaten the supercar club owners club thing. What a result. I think next we need to do the uh, V12 Screamers. Because I think this car has a V12. So uh, we'll take a look at that. See if we can fast travel there. I don't know if we've unlocked that club yet. Hang on. Let's have a look. I think V12 is somewhere towards the south. Towards here, maybe. Club Italia. We can go to there. Club Midship. We can do that. V12 Screamers, we can fast travel there. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.